Powerwords just had a massive update adding the brand new boss as well as a huge amount of new items, quality of life features and huge improvements. The first raid boss is now live. You can now summon it by using slabs at the new summoning altar. I'm going to hopefully be streaming it later on, but I thought I might as well do the patch notes video now. So buckle in, get ready. This is available only for Steam at the moment, but will be come to Xbox hopefully in the next few days, maybe if not next week. Raid boss powers summoned by slabs are very powerful and cannot be captured. Work alongside your base powers to take on these powerful foes. Power eggs can drop after defeating raid boss powers. The extreme version of the raid boss is incredibly powerful and difficult to beat. New training manual items have been added. The manuals allow you to experience points to pals. New item, ancient technical manual has been added. This manual gives you ancient technology points and can be randomly found inside dungeon chests. New recovery meds item have been added. Using these meds will slowly recover your HP over time. New item, the Homewood Thundercloud has been added. This will teleport you instantly to your nearest base. New item ability glasses have been added. When equipped, you can see power stats. New stat boosting items have been added. Power fruit, life fruit, stout fruit. These items will boost power stats when used. They've added a new passive mercy hit. Powers with this passive cannot reduce enemy HP below one when attacking. New item the ring of mercy has been added. When wearing this ring, you cannot reduce enemy HP below one when attacking. New armor, multi climber undershirt has been added. Protect yourself against the, both the heat and the cold with just one slot. New building electric egg incubator has been added. This incubator consumes electricity to automatically adjust the temperature to the optimum temperature for each egg. New building or mining site has been added. This mining site allows you to produce ores from the comfort of your base. Kelp C can now produce power fluids at your ranch. Dumud can now produce high quality power oil at the ranch. You can now reduce the weight of metal ores while riding Serpent Terra. Increase the amount of ore dropped while riding Astagon. You can now raise power's rank to the maximum with a single synthesis using the power essence condenser. Negative power status will be resolved after spending some time in the power box. While aiming a sphere, you will now display how many of the target powers have been captured. You can check the cooldowns on partner skills for all your powers on the main screen. Equipment and item stats are now visible on the technology screen, even if you have not locked them first. The tutorial has been improved and renamed to Journey. You can now show and hide the Journey in the game options. Damage number display size can be changed in the game options. In raid boss battles, the damage numbers tend to overlap a lot and may be difficult to see, so we recommend adjusting the size. Player. Dropped items by players after death on a non-dedicated server can now be picked up by anyone after 24 hours of real time has passed. Added a new sleeping player emote. And that's not all, there's a huge amount more. Base related, you can now allow disallow certain work for base powers at the monitoring stand. Chest filters have been added. Select the item types to allow or disallow inside chests. Crafted items are now transported from crafting facilities. Selecting allow transport when crafting will result in powers transporting those items to chests when finished. This is massive. You can now edit your character's appearance at any time by using the antique dresser. Building and building piece placement under rules have been relaxed. You can now connect stairs facing upwards. Roof pieces can now directly connect to foundations. Triangle walls can now be connected to stairs. You can now force a power to work and cancel their work by picking them up and throwing them towards the facility. Powers can recover their sound while taking a break, so be careful. Fixed assignment remains fixed even after bad events occur. Previously, some assignments would have changed due to certain conditions, but now they'll remain fixed unless the power is placed inside the power box. Adjustment balance. Minimum heat and cold resistance have been added to various armors. You'll no longer need to take off your heat resistance armor when it is cold at night in the starting area. Reduce the button press time in the egg incubator. Change the pattern for Jormantide Ignis to something more unique. Added legendary blueprints for some firearms dropped from specific enemies. Corrected the selling price of diamonds. In single player, it's no longer possible to select the initial spawn point for multiplayer. Blocked the back of the starting area with rocks to prevent players from getting lost or stuck. The increased attack power multiplier of partner skills that increase the player's attack power while riding has been uniformly reduced from 2.0 to 1.2. Eggs now have a small chance to produce alpha powers. Flying and floating powers are now immune to falling damage and shot price adjustments have been made. Ton of bug fixes, a bug where treasure chests would become empty when dying in a dungeon, an issue where the effect that increases the player attack power while riding was duplicating and accumulating under certain conditions, an issue where players were not receiving loot when capturing powers while mounted, adjusted the HP of the legendary power and fixed an issue where the difference in HP between the captured legendary power and the bred legendary power was too large. 
Fix an issue where PAL would eat while riding. Fix an issue where spheres thrown close to while PALs would not hit and get lost. Lots of models and textures and sound effects have all been improved. Servers have been improved with the sorting order and the server list to allow page transitions. And a bunch of anti-cheat stuff has gone on. They've also had one new song to the soundtrack and they're planning a larger, more content-packed update for 2024 summer. This looks like this is going to be the new island that we've seen in a distance we can't get to with the big tree. Or maybe not, it might just be another new island. But that update is going to have buildings, weapons and tower bosses. So yeah, that's the next big summer update. And lastly, if you've got an issue where you can't put eggs inside an incubator, demolish the incubator and try again. So that is definitely a lot more than I expected. I have been wondering why we haven't had some more quality of life updates, but I've clearly been saving some of them. The inventory stuff really used to annoy me and did put me off playing the game sometimes. So the fact that now we can sort stuff out a bit easier, especially with the crafting benches being able to be carried straight to storage, that's a great move. And some of the other quality of life stuff they've changed and adjusted is great. The fact that we can now get oil and metals at base, either via PALs or the new stuff, is a good one as well. So yeah, by the time you see this video, hopefully I might be live, so come check me out live streaming. I'm going to see all the new stuff, maybe try and take on this new boss raid pal. I'm probably not going to be strong enough, but we'll see how it goes. Until next time, wrap bags, laters.